Yes, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good afternoon, friends. Today is Thursday. We're going to do for my YouTube channel two videos and some images, and I will upload it within five hours. Thank you very much for Grafo Joe Studio Manhattan, New York City. Welcome to my studio. We're going to start with Canon R with Canon 85mm, Canon 80D with Sigma 35mm plus Sony A7 II with Sony 35mm. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye. حبيبي صباح الخير صباحك ورد وفل ولوز يا عمري صباح Find the good lighting, thanks to your manual camera, you have more freedom to shoot under different lighting conditions. Nonetheless, the sun will be your main light source, so you will need to schedule your shoot when the light is not too harsh as subtle. Diffused lighting helps reveal the true tone, tons of colors and make your photos look more natural. Natural light is landscape photography is particular, will require a little trial and error to master. Landscape shooters typically lead out during golden hours, right after sunrise and before sunset, to get beautiful mixes of blue and orange in the sky. We suggest you take the time to understand the characteristics of the lighting that you will get when shooting during different times of day. So you can schedule your shoot accordingly. You may find that you prefer one time of day over another. One more time, thank you for everybody who asked about me and take care of me when I was in the hospital. I have some extra fluid in my left knee 
The doctor make a small surgery about half an hour. She take about 300 millimeter this fluid, and I must have at least between two or three weeks rest and take medication, and I will be back to work soon. a shutter release which can be very handy when you can't use a fast shutter speed this is more remote or cabled control device connected to your camera so you don't have to touch your camera and risk blurring your images when you click the shutter during long exposure Lens filter. There are two kinds of camera lens filters that landscape photographers typically use to improve their images. One is the polarizing filter, which manages reflections, suppresses glare and darkness skins to deep blue to make the clouds pop. The other is the natural density filter, which filters out a certain amount of light from entering the lens to allow the use of slower shutter speeds, wider aperture and or higher ISO level without, ex uh, uh, without overexposing the image. Polarizing filter is instantly improve the colors and overall appearance of your landscape photographs. The NED filter may need some getting used to in order to make the best use of it, of common landscape photography techniques. If you will on a budget, we suggest getting the circular polarized first and then giving up with the NED filter to enjoy motion blur effects and capture those velvety smooth streams. that uh, many beginners landscape shooters may not always remember to get but we and many professional photographers would recommend that you include in your camera bag is a shutter release which can be very handy when you can't use 
a fast shutter speed. This small remote or cable control device connects to your camera so you don't have to touch your camera and risk blurring your images when you click the shutter during long exposures. One problem with many landscape shots is that the subject is far away and there is nothing to look at in the foreground that gives the landscape images a flat some sameness that we want to avoid. As you look at some stunning visitors, pay attention to nearby rocks, plants or even puddle of water that can add interest to your image and also create a stronger sense of the third dimension. Thank you very much my friends and wish me good health and good luck too. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Set the right shutter speed. Shutter speed is the essential studio photography tip you must take care of when there is a model involved. Movement is evident. Make sure that you capture the details of the clothes, hair and actions to their best without making them look too outline or blurred. Find good lighting. Thank you for your manual camera. You have more freedom to shoot under different lighting conditions. Nonetheless, the sun will be your main light source. So you will need to schedule your shoot when the light is not too harsh as subtle. Diffused lighting helps reveal the true بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good afternoon friends Today is Thursday just like last week I'm doing now travel cam again Canon R with Canon 85mm Canon ETD with Sigma 35mm plus Sony A7 II with Sony 35mm Photograph Ujo Studio Manhattan New York City Welcome to my studio Every organization needs to have a professional looking website. And you should also 
take advantage of a social media to help expand your reach and brand loyalty. When deciding how to market your business online using professional photos can help you make a strong first impression on your audience. As high quality camera phones have made photography more common, the value of a professional looking photograph has only increased people who are experienced in taking professional pictures make it look easy but this is a skill you need to practice and hone if you want the best results